Protecting the environment is why cattle farmers put up fences to keep their livestock out of streams. The only problem with that is the loss of a valuable water supply for the animals. That's the dilemma faced by North Carolina cattle farmer Larry Baxter, who put up a fence and then had to figure out a way to get water to his cattle. His answer was to dig a well, which created another problem, a lack of a power source. We're a good distance away from the uh, power source. And when we investigated putting electric power up here, we got to looking at what it was going to cost. And we had a big upfront charge for running the power out here, plus a large monthly minimum. So we got to looking at alternative sources for some way other than electric power. We first, we're on a high ridge here, and we first looked at uh, uh, putting in a wind system. And we investigated with different people that were supposed to know what they were talking about on the wind. And they determined that we probably didn't have a consistent enough supply of wind power here to operate. And they seemed to think that the solar system was our best source of renewable energy. And this system we wound up, you know, putting in in providing water for up to 160 cattle, Baxter had to think about how much water each would drink. That was just one of the issues Baxter had to take into account in designing his solar-powered water system. We have about a 16,000 gallon tank. Uh, and this is another thing, nobody seems to know how much water a cow drinks, but we talked to everybody and we've decided that possibly in the winter time, a uh, brood cow about eight to 10 gallons a day uh, in the summertime, a cow-calf pair, a 1,200-pound cow and her 500-pound calf in August will probably consume 40 gallons a day. So what we have in this 16,000-gallon tank is enough backup for uh, 10 days to two weeks in the wintertime when you have extended cloudy period and this thing's not pumping. Uh, we'll have enough to run about four days in the summertime without you know, in August without any, any pumping. You can bet this longtime cattle producer knows the ins and outs of how his system works. Now, these, the, each, each of these panels is 170 watt. So this is a, this is a one kilowatt system, basically a thousand, uh, 670 watt panels, 1,020 watts. The pump runs off of DC current and it is a very interesting pump. It, it, it's variable, and uh, it will, if you have a little bit of energy, it pumps a little bit. If you have a lot of energy, it pumps a lot. Uh, today is very overcast, very cloudy, and we're getting uh, basically a, a little over 100 watts of the possible thousand generated, and that pump is running today. What we're trying to do is pump water while the sun shines, store it in the large tank and gravity feed it out to cattle waters. If Baxter has piqued your interest about a solar powered well, you might want to think about it for a while, then take some of his advice. I'd tell them to do all the investigation and all the groundwork that they can. Uh, we had a lot of trouble, frankly, in finding enough technical information on this thing. Uh, we talked to everybody, and I, I guess I'd just tell people just if you don't know, ask everybody you see, because you're gonna stumble onto somebody that knows what he's talking about. Baxter is confident in his system and in the future. I really think that the alternative energy sources are the thing of the future, because as I see it, and I, I've been wrong more times than I've been right, but I think all, all energy costs will continue to go up over a period of time. And uh, I just think that anything that we can do to develop renewable energy sources uh, is a help to us. And uh, I'm working for the next two generations because I have a son and grandchildren out here that I hope will be operating this thing a long time after I'm through with it. So this is something that I think will be good for generations to come as well as helping me.